Next up on the field, Genco Construction presents the 23 out of Canton. It's Devin Jensik. I mean, I was pretty confident after like the middle of last year because we got that first win, which felt amazing to me. I mean, it was almost uh, surreal. Two more weeks after that, we got two more wins back to back. And I was pretty confident with contending for the championship for this year and hopefully getting more wins and adding on to how well last year was and keeping that progress going. We did the motor like you usually do every year, checked over everything, made sure everything was good, made a couple of tweaks. It started off the year good. I felt confident because I was like, okay, the car is pretty good compared to last year as well. We didn't really make much changes after spring, so those are just a couple of tweaks. And it started off in the right direction, but then everyone else seemed to get a little bit better than me. And then we started making more changes and we kind of struggled a little bit towards the middle of the season. It was the same thing every week. It was just more of a lack of grip in the center to get the car to turn. Everyone else seemed to have better drive off the corner than I could. I tried almost everything, different entrances, different exits, getting on the gas a little later, trying to roll the corner better, and I just couldn't seem to get the car to roll as good as it did last year. The whole field was within like three tenths the whole season. So, I mean, you had to be pretty perfect on race day to be able to pull out a win. And if you weren't perfect, either someone else would capitalize on your mistake or you'd probably just give it away. As we keep an eye on the battle for second on back, this time Gary Patnode, much more oh. aggressive. Getting into the Jensik turn. goes around. A little contact was made there. I kind of just try to let it go because if I try to like intentionally wreck someone or if I overdrive the car, then I just beat myself up even more. And it's like, why did I do that? That was kind of dumb. So I kind of try to let it go, but I'll like race them how they race me for the rest of the year. They are side by side off the turn. They sway to the left, to the right, and at the line. Nine laps up on the board, brand new leader, Devin Jensik. It is Devin Jensik, car number 23, back in winning form here at Stafford. It felt pretty good. It gave me feeling that the car was back to the way it was. I mean, it's pretty big because you feel like if you won last year, you should be able to win again this year. And then if you can't pull it off, then you're like, maybe it was just a fluke and I didn't really deserve that one. But like, if you can get another one two different years, it kind of confirms that you did it, you were able to do it, you had a good enough car, good enough crew, and everyone around you was able to help you get it done again. We kind of rode that out for a little bit, and then it kind of fell back to a fifth place car, which still wasn't bad, but it's not as good as I'd like it to be. I think they also did the traction compound again in the middle of the year, which kind of changed it again, because it was like the beginning of the year all over again, except hotter and it was just a little too difficult to adapt at that time. Well, because the field's so close together, three tenths, um, if you let them go for like two or three laps, maybe they'll gain a tenth on you, maybe they won't. But once they spread out, it's kind of harder to pass to people. And especially like on a restart, if we're all bunched up, if someone in front of them checks up, you can kind of take advantage of that. Whereas if everyone's just running their own line, it's kind of harder to make a pass. I mean, it's still possible, but it's just a little more difficult. Well, if you end the year on a good note, it's easier to move forward into next year and be like, okay, the car, we have a baseline for the car and what we want to change. Whereas if you get a DNF or you kind of wreck out, you're starting from zero again. I feel like we did pretty well considering we had that DNF and um, we got black flagged on lap one after getting a piece of the fender stuck in the car and we couldn't take that out. So just to bounce back to even just to finish, it was pretty good. I mean, the win. That was pretty good, just knowing that I can do it and keep doing it. And just everyone that was around me supporting me. Trying to be a little more patient, trying to minimize mistakes, and working on the car a little more. Obviously, everyone's busy. It's a little hard to work on the car. And sometimes just finding that little change that you need also helps out a lot. My mom and dad, first and foremost, for all the time, effort, and money they put in. My whole family, really, for supporting me for as long as I have. Genco Construction, Ari Spray Foam, Red Auto Machine, Williams Race Gears, Casello Waste, Rob Russell Chassis, and everyone from Lincoln Tech that helped every week that they could. Just to ride the momentum, obviously with Connor starting racing, trying to help him out and trying to get him as best as he could over the year. And um, hopefully both of us get wins next year. That would be pretty cool seeing someone other than myself and the family winning at Stafford as well.